Octopane in children with colitis, pale jaundice, enlargement of organs, and abdominal cavity, lack of peristalsis, holia, rest in the abdomen, bleeding from JIT, joint pain and swelling, prolonged vomiting, blood, weight loss or slow growth length, unexplained fever, severe persistent pain, intense severe abdominal pain that does not improve with time or persist over several hours, Pain of pain and abdominal pain that is localized to a specific area may suggest a more serious condition such as appendicitis or periculitis. Pain or the usual pain that radiates to the back or shoulder place may indicate conditions such as pancreatitis. Rebound tenderness can be a sign of peritonitis, distension, visual abdominal distension. Especially if it is sudden or severe, may suggest bowel obstruction, intestinal operation. Vomiting, persistent vomiting, Plus, fully, if it is bilious, green or yellow vomit may indicate a bar obstruction, bloody with stool, or vomit. Blood in the stool or vomit can be a sign of gastrointestinal bleeding, which may reserve from conditions such as peptic ulcer disease, IVD, or intestinal ischemia. Fever, especially if it is high or persistent, can indicate infection or inflammation in the abdomen. Changing bowel habits, significant changes in bowel habits such as constipation, diarrhea, or passage of body or mucus stool may indicate gastrointestinal blood pathology. Abdominal mass, palpable abdominal mass or fullness may suggest a uh, presence of sugar, abscess, or other abdominal pathology, jaundice, yellow discoloration of the skin or eyes, jaundice may indicate liver or bowel, biliary tract pathology such as cholecystitis or biliary obstruction. Abdominal pain in, in children is a common complaint, but a certain red flags may indicate a more serious underlying condition of requiring urgent uh, medical attention. There are key, key red flags to watch for severe symptoms, intense persistent pain, severe abdominal pain that is constant or significantly disrupts normal activity. Pain worsening over time, pain that becomes progressively worsened rather than improving or fluctuating in intensity. Associated symptoms for me, especially if it is persistent, green bullets or contain poor blood, light stool, red or black peristoles that can indicate bleeding in the gastro, gastrointestinal tract, or high fever, especially when accompanied by abdominal pain suggesting an infectious or inflammatory process, realness or failure to thrive, indicating a chronic condition or significant pitiless distance of abdomen, swelling or bloating of the abdomen, which may indicate obstruction of sites or significant word organ enlargement. Location and nature of pain, that localized pain, pain localized to one specific area, right lower quadrant pain could suggest appendicitis. Rebound tenderness increased pain when pressure is removed from the abdomen, suggesting peritoneal patient systemic signs of the yellowing of the skin or eyes. Indicating liver or biliary disease, color pale appearance can suggest anemia or shock, rash, surgeon, rashes, like the purpura, rash, or hand low, surely purpura can be associated with systemic illness. Other concerning features, nightmares, and just pain that wakes the child from the sleep, can be more concerning that pain only occur during the day. Pain unrelated to the meals, pain that doesn't, doesn't correlate with eating may suggest a non-gastrointestinal source. Family history of significant family history of gastrointestinal disease, cancers, or hereditary conditions, urgent situations, sign of shock, such as rapid pulse, cold extremities, and decreased distension, Decreased lack of alertness, including potentially life critical conditions, signs of dehydration, including decreased illumination, dry mouth, and lethargy, especially in the context of vomiting or diarrhea. Recognizing red flags in pediatric abdominal pain is crucial for early identification for obstetrics conditions require urgent evaluation. Persistent, localized, or severe pain, especially when associated with systemic all symptoms like fever, vomiting, and changes in stool or urine warrants immediate medical attention. A thorough history of misfork examination are essential to identify these red flags and guide for the diagnostic and therapeutic interventions. So, let's have a look. Um, abdominal pain in children with legs, pale, drum juice, enlargement of organs in the abdominal cavity, level peristalsis, whole neamis in the abdomen, bleeding from GIT, joint pain and swelling, prolonged vomiting, plus minus blood, weight loss or slow growth rate, unexplained fever. 
Similar persistent pain, intensive abdominal pain, pain of patient localized discus bay area, pain radiation, from the mouth to tenderness, vomiting, blood is stool or vomit, fever changes in more habits, abdominal mass, jaundice. Red flags, okay. Intense persistent pain, pain worsening over time. <laughs> also see this not just vomiting, body stools, high fever, weight loss, or earlier the drug, distended abdomen, localization, and natural. Natural pain, localized pain, we won't symptom this jump discolor, wrenched. Nighttime sentence pain unrelated to meals, family history, sign of shock, signs of dehydration, or uh, pediatric abdominal pain, pulsable, persistent, localized, or severe pain, especially when associated with steady symptoms like fever, vomiting, changes in stool, urine, or immediate medical attention.